amazing God. Trusting God when life twists and turns. This week, fear a laugh. Hello, and welcome to Black Hawk Kids. I'm Caitlin, and I'm thankful you're here. Today, we are learning about trusting God. The Bible is filled with stories of people who trusted in God even when they didn't know what was coming next. Trusting God means choosing to believe that God knows what's best and that He will take care of us because He loves us. God will do what He's promised to do even when life twists and turns along the way. Our big idea today is that we can trust God. Get ready because it's going to be amazing. Stand up. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do. And he will show you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do. And He will show you which path to take. Whoa, oh. For the Bible. Oh, hey everyone, I was waiting for you. Waiting is not fun, right? Hey, there's a lady in the Bible who had to wait a very long time. Her name was Sarah, and she was Abraham's wife. Do you remember Abraham? God promised Abraham and Sarah that they would have a really big family. <laughs> Yay! So they waited for God's promise to come true. But they didn't have any kids. They waited so long. Abraham and Sarah were almost 100 years old. Way too old to have a baby and they were still waiting and wondering if God had forgotten about them. But we don't have to wait any longer. Let's watch Abraham and Sarah's story from the Bible in the book of Genesis. Stories of the Bible. Sarah laughs. This is Sarah. Sarah was Abraham's wife. 
One day, as Abraham sat near the entrance of his tent, God appeared to him. Abraham looked up and three men stood before him. God promised Abraham that he and Sarah would someday have a son. In fact, God promised Abraham that he would have many children, Oh, even more than the stars in the sky. Now, Sarah was very old when God made this promise. When she heard that God promised to give her a child, she laughed. The messenger of God stopped Sarah. He asked, is anything too hard for the Lord? Sarah chose to trust God, and she became pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. The son's name was Isaac. God's promises came true for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham became the father of many nations, and from his child came children, and from their children, more children, until Abraham's descendants were truly more numerous than the stars in the sky. Abraham and Sarah trusted God for the promise and believed that God was faithful. We all wait sometimes. Maybe you're waiting for a time to play with your friend. Or maybe you're waiting for your next birthday. Or maybe you're just waiting for dinner because you're really hungry. Waiting is hard and we might feel frustrated. Sometimes we even feel sad because we want something so much and we wonder if the wait will ever end. That's how Sarah felt when she laughed at having a baby. She had waited so long, and now it seemed impossible. But Sarah learned that she could trust God, even when she didn't understand and had to wait. And guess what? God turned Sarah's sad laugh into a really happy laugh when baby Isaac came. God never forgets about you. He knows just what you need, and he is planning good things for you. But sometimes you just have to wait. Sarah and Abraham trusted God while they waited, and you and I can trust God too. Let's take time right now to pray together. Close your eyes, be still, and let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for being our amazing God. We know we can trust you, even when life goes through its twists and turns. We don't know what will happen next, but you do. Thank you for loving us so much. And everybody said, Amen. Thanks for joining me as we learn that we can trust God, even if it means we have to wait. See you later, friends. Bye. Stand up. Time to move and sing to God. No matter how dark night or day, God's love helps me not to be afraid. No matter how high a mountain I see, God's love is bigger and it makes me want to sing. I know, no matter what, God loves me. 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 And now my hands are clapping. love is still here and I'll be all right and when it's hard to say goodbye and I just don't want to do it God's love is what I got and he will help me through it
and God loves you. Say, I know no matter what, God loves me. 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 And now my hands are clapping. Hey. And now my feet are dancing. 